Do I have any knitting projects right now? Is this a trick question? My name's Stephanie Engel and I'm the yarn production director at Brooklyn Tweed. I'm not a monogamous knitter. I would love to finish everything I start before I go on to the next project, but on the other hand, knitting is um, near and dear to my heart. I do it for pleasure, and so I'm not gonna put myself into a situation where I feel like I don't have any freedom to, to explore things and be creative about what I'm working on. Usually, I have a pair of socks because my husband will wear any socks I make for him. Um, hats, I like to knit hats. I'm mostly a dedicated sweater knitter. So I always have at least one sweater going. And so when you add a couple sweaters, a hat, a pair of socks, you know, there might be a shawl in there somewhere. A typical workday for me uh, has quite a bit of variance. So anything to do with yarn is um, a possibility. Some days I'm arranging freight to pick up finished yarn from the East Coast and bring it to the West Coast. I move wool from Texas, uh, the scouring facility, Bowman, um, to the dyer in Philadelphia. I manage our inventory. I do reports about our inventory. I forecast um, future needs. I place orders with the spinning mills and the dye houses. If there's a creative project that has to do with yarn, I'm usually involved. Anything from making sure that the uh, care instructions on a yarn wrap are accurate to the type of yarn that they're um, going to be attached to, to shade card production. So it, there's quite a variance. Um, it's an interesting job. I love it. I get to do all kinds of things with um, some great people. The thing that I would like people to know about Brooklyn Tweed is that it is a convergence of people who are uh, really passionate about knitting and creativity and breed specific wool. And everybody has their sort of specialty, but uh, the core thing that brings us together is our, our love for knitting and using wool. I started knitting uh, as a child. Um, I was fortunate because I grew up in a house where my mother uh, did a lot of things. Uh, she painted our own, you know, the walls in our house. She was a magnificent cook. Um, but she was also very uh, interested in needle arts and making things. So she was an excellent seamstress. And when I was about six years old, I don't know why, but she decided that she would teach me how to knit. And ironically, my mother was not a dedicated knitter. She um, often didn't finish things, but she did teach me how to knit, which was enough to give me a start. And I went on to explore a lot of different kinds of needlework, and I sewed a lot as a, as a young person. Somewhere around the time when uh, we started a family, there was just this internal belief that children needed to be um, covered in hand knits. So I uh, got a, you know, a pattern booklet, and I went and bought yarn, and my, made my little baby boy a sweater. At that time, I was fortunate to be able to be home with my children when they were small, but um, the day-to-day -day activities involved with raising kids often don't um, offer a lot of uh, intellectual stimulation. So I was knitting, but at the same time, I um, recognized that there was a a deep well there. So I could knit um, to make things for my family that didn't require a lot of brain power or I could choose a different project that was very challenging to me. So knitting sort of filled a need I had at that time to uh, be both practical in making things for my family but also an exploration I could do on my own in my own time uh, once I got the kids kind of on a regular routine in the evening. My interest in, in wool and in all kinds of textiles really um, started really in my childhood because I grew up in a home that was uh, very interested in textiles. We had a lot of wool in our home, wool carpet, wool wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Um, my dad had wool sweaters. He kept them for decades. Um, 
And so wool was always promoted inside my home as a wonderful fabric. And then with sewing, I was also, um, my mom sort of insisted when I was 17 that I enter the Make It Yourself with Wool contest. <laughs> she didn't like to see me fritter away my summers, you know, doing nothing. So she taught me some tailoring techniques at that time. And uh, so I learned how to sew with wool. But over the coming years, I uh, turned more towards natural fibers in everything, um, cotton, linen, wool. The more I knew, the more I became educated about it, the more I realized that that was really the way to go for me. I just think wool is like a miracle fiber. In my work life and in my daily life, um, I promote wool often. My family knows it and, you know, my friends, and we have conversations about wool and what it means for the folks that are growing the wool, what it means for the manufacturing in the United States, and just uh, that there are people behind the process of making the yarn. And these people work hard, and the work they do, I think, is, is important. <laughs>